Hey there, knitters. It's Leslie here from YYC Knits. Um, it's been a long time since I have made a video. So I am just enjoying a day off here and it is very snowy in Calgary and cold as can be. So I thought I would make a little video on these adorable little stockings that I'm making by Susan B. Anderson. And they are part of a Christmas charm set that she has with um, some adorable little trees and sweaters, etc. And you can find them on Ravelry. So this is the little stocking part of the charm set. And um, I just wanted to make this video because um, there was a couple people on Ravelry who um, were just uh, saying that the instructions were lacking as far as the the little stocking that she's made up in in the picture here um as far as her pattern goes um she's got a plain colored one and directions on how to just knit one in one color so she doesn't really go into detail on how to knit the one to look identical to the one in the picture. So there's a little bit of color work involved. Um, so it's probably not going to be a, can, a beginner pattern, but um, yeah, I just thought I'd go through some of the techniques that I'm using um, to do the stripes because of course, when you're knitting in the round, you're kind of knitting in a spiral and as you can see so this first little sock that I made um, I didn't do the jogless striping so the stripes don't line up and then on the bottom part of the sock I ended up using the jogless stripe method and you can see how nicely the stripes line up in the round um, so I'll show you how to do that so let's get started. This is just another one that uh, that I made. And as you can see, um, the stripes here line up a lot nicer. And as well, just down the little, the little toe of the sock. So I will show you how I do that without further ado. Um, these little cotton skeins, these little mini skeins, I got at Dollarama. They're 100% cotton. They've also got some 100% acrylic colors, but I'm a little bit of a yarn snob and cannot uh, bring myself to work with unnatural uh, fiber. So this is as natural as I could get. And as you can see, I've got one little sock started here. So I won't go into detail about the pattern because... Of course, I want you to head on over to uh, Ravelry and purchase her pattern for these adorable little charm sets. But what I will do is show you some of the te techniques that I use to make up these little socks in the two or three color stripes um, as they appear in the photo. So um, I kind of started by doing my... Um, by doing my ribbing already around... And then I started in my two colors. So I don't have to join a new color because I'm just going to be knitting from these two colors that I have going. But what I'm going to do for the sake of the video is to show you how I would join my color if I was going to start another color. So I'll just grab this little mini skein here and I will show you how I would go about joining my new color. So I would go ahead and I would put my needle into the first stitch knitwise and then I'm going to go ahead and just start knitting with that color and my tail is here. My little tail is here on the left side and my ball of yarn here is on the right side. So I knit the first stitch and after I do that, I'm going to shorten up my tail so I've got enough to weave in, but I don't want it too long. And I'm going to grab both those pieces and knit three more stitches with both the threads. Just to really... Just 
keep that join nice and taut. So as you can see, I've knit one where I started there and then three stitches with the double thread. So when I come around to my next row, I'm going to slip this stitch purlwise, this single stitch, and just knit these next three. And that is how I'm going to do my stripes. Okay, so I've just paused the video and I am back. So I've just undone that third color because I'm just uh, knitting in the two colors, the light blue and, and the darker blue. Um, so when I get to the heel and the toe, I will, of course, incorporate the darker, darkest blue and do the heel and the toe in that. So that's just how I've, I've chosen my colors, but of course you can do, um, you know, whatever suits your fancy. So I am going to start with, so what I've done here is I've done two rounds with the, um, darker blue so now I am ready to start uh, two rounds with the lighter blue so when I go and do that I'm going to just go knit wise into that first stitch here and I've got these extra long toothpicks that I'm knitting with so bear with me here I'm laying on the floor doing this video on my son's phone currently so I'll do my best to uh, stay in the in the camera here and show you how I've done this so I've got my dark blue and my light blue and I'm just trying to separate the two yarns. So what I want to do is I'm going to drop that dark blue and I'm going to come underneath to the right with my light blue and start knitting with that. And it just kind of pulls that stitch up a little bit, uh, a little bit nicer there. So I've just got to come around here so that I can stay in the view of the camera. So I'm going to go ahead and continue knitting my whole round okay in the light blue and I'm just gonna pause the video because you don't need to watch me go around um, the second and the third needle and then I'll show you what I do when I come back to the beginning of the round to make those stripes jogless as can be Okay, so I have come around to the beginning of the round again, and I have knit one full round in my first light blue color. So when I go to knit that second round, in order to um, make my stripes line up nicely, I'm going to take that very first stitch, okay, of my round, and I'm going to slip it purlwise, just the way it is on the needle, onto my first needle. Okay. And then I'm going to start knitting as before and just tighten up that first stitch nice and tight there. And I'm just going to knit my second round normally as you would. Just like so. So I'll show you here what that looks like. And basically, if you pull these needles up, you can see that I've got two stitches. They're really tight so and they're tiny needles so it's really hard to see here but I'll try my best to focus it. So I've got two stitches all along except for that very first stitch is just a one stitch and what that does is it helps our stripe to line up um, better. And it doesn't look like much right now, but if I show you on the little red and green sock, our stripes just line up here so much nicer. And you can see how 
There's two stitches all along, so we're just fooling the eye by slipping this stitch instead of knitting it on that second round. And it just helps our stripes line up so much nicer so that you don't get that jog in there, as you can see. So hope that helps and happy knitting everyone. Merry Christmas and I am making these teeny socks as an advent calendar and I'm just going to make a little garland um, of teeny socks. So I have two made and I have 23 more to go and that's how I'm going to be enjoying my holidays this season. So Merry Christmas and uh Stress less and love more. Talk to you soon. Bye for now.